Well, welcome everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, welcome to the Pokemon Renegade Platinum. I'm gonna try and Nuzlocke this game. If you don't know what Renegade Platinum is, it is basically a enhanced ROM hack of Pokemon Platinum. Most things in the game are the same in terms of story and stuff. Um, but there's been a lot of new things added to it. Um, it's made a lot harder. A lot of trainers are have more Pokemon and are just harder. Um, a lot of I think every single gym leader has six Pokemon, and they're just like difficult in general. Um, there's a bunch of new stuff from later gens. Uh, like the fairy typing is in this. I think all typings up to Gen Seven are updated. A bunch of Pokemon have got new abilities. Or have been given their um, abilities from future games, like hidden abilities and stuff that we, they wouldn't normally have in this game. Um, as well as like some Pokemon having like higher base stat totals, a lot of move set changes. So just in general, a lot of Pokemon in this are a lot stronger. So yeah. All right, moment of truth, boys. So who are we picking as our starter? We obviously got, so it seems always, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. <laughs> now, part of me wants to just, I know it's ob the obvious choice is to go with Turtwig or Piplup to make the first gym easier, since it's rock. But goddamn, Infernape is like really, really good. Infernape is like easily the strongest mon out of the three of these. And, I mean, I don't know how the encounters are going to be in this game, but usually in Platinum, you don't really run into that many fire types for a while. And having a fire type would be really nice. Plus, I mean, he does get... He evolves at 14 in this game and gets, like, fighting moves for Rourke. So, like, he would still be useful against the Rock Gym. And he would... He, I think, I'm pretty sure Monferno is fire fight, right? So, he wouldn't be weak to Rock. I think Piplup, no, Empoleon's actually really, really good. Turtwig's good early on because he does well against like the first two gyms. But like Infernape is just so good. If we can keep this thing alive until it's fully evolved, it'll be an absolute monster in this game. You know? So I think, I, I think I'm just going to go with Chimchar. Gotta go with the absolute powerhouse. I think Chimchar also has the best level upset, especially early on, out of the three. So. Alright, let's go up and get our Pokeballs. From down. Wait, what? A battle? Since fucking when do we battle here? Okay, I guess that's a new thing he's added. Oh, what do you even have? Okay, you have Turtwig, makes sense. Level 9? Uh, this could be an issue. Okay, that's good. That's a good start. Go faster. That's not doing a lot. But that's also not doing a lot. Oh, we're speed tied, great. Okay, we may actually be able to win this. On. Fuck. Two more embers. Are oh, you heading off, Echo? Seated. Oh, <laughs> well, we're fine. <laughs> that was a little scary, though. Alright, what is our lake encounter? Good old Beedoof. Alright, not the best, but early on it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, Bidoof. Plump mouse. <laughs> Name him Lord. He is a Lord. Ooh, I need a right meal. Hell yeah. That's a great Pokemon to get. Okay, that's like two Leers. I'm gonna switch. I don't know if this thing has double kick at level 5, but just in case... Tinycam's gonna look so weird with this because I'm in like an actual like overlay with a box, but sure. We'll just we'll just do this. There we go, tiny cam. <laughs> Surrounded by darkness. Glavatron? I feel like that does fit Nido King actually. Oh, did I spell it wrong? Ah, we'll fix it later. Wait, what did I... Did I type it wrong or did you... Alright, let's get our encounter up here and then we'll uh, do some grinding. Get everybody up to like, level 8 before we start coming up here and fighting some of these trainers. No worries. It's no big deal. We can fix it as soon as we get to the name relearner. Ooh! Have intimidate, have intimidate, have intimidate, have intimidate, have intimidate, please have intimidate. Please have intimidate. Damn it! <laughs> it's like all you're good for, Shinx. <laughs> I mean, not really, you're actually decent, but intimidate would have been so, so nice. Damn it. Okay. You have Howl. That's a little scary. Okay, you need to... You need to stop. Alright, we got the Shanks. Nicknames for the Shanks, anybody? I mean, if I think of something, I'll, I'll... If I think of something I like, I'll just do it, but if I don't think of anything, I usually, like... will ask you guys. But Lilac has been the only one given nicknames, so if anybody else has got one, feel free. Blueberry? I do like Blueberry. Honestly, I just... I actually really just like food names for Pokemon. But here you go. First up this Oh, you're just giving me a Bulbazar. Wait, are they giving me are they give wait, hold on. Uh I'm just gonna call you Salad, because I like that name for you. Oh Okay, hold on. Uh wait. Okay, gift claws. 
I have gift, I, I played with the gift clause where I'm allowed to get a gift Pokemon from a route if I've already got an encounter there, but I do limit it to one gift Pokemon for the area, so that I can't just abuse like fossils to get a bunch of fossil Pokemon and stuff. Um. Okay, I guess what I'll do is I'll 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 grab all three of these, and then we'll decide which one we want to keep, and then we'll release the other two. I don't know what one we're going to keep. I guess we'll nickname all three just in case, but I don't know what one I'm, I want. I'll be honest, I'm probably going to pick Bulbasaur, just because, like, one is a grass starter. It's my, actually my favourite starter from Gen 1, and we kind of need a grass or water type to help us with the gym. So, kind of want to take Bulbasaur. In fact, you know what? I've decided I'm going to take Bulbasaur, so I'm not even going to nickname these other two. I'm just going to take them and release them. See what we get. Most likely gonna be Magikarp. Yep. Oh, that's level 10. I'll have to switch train this thing at some point later once we're actually on level, uh, once we're, the whole team's around level 20. Get this thing evolved and get ourselves a gear reduce. Did nothing. Do you actually have flail and tackle? I do have dive balls actually, I probably can catch you fairly easily. Shout out to the fisherman for giving us some dive balls as well. What a bro. Nice. You know what? I know what I want to call you. Female Magikarp. Female Gyarados. Yamato. We can get an encounter in here and in the cave. Okay, we get a Starling. I'll take that. I think a crit would kill it from there. It'd be a roll, maybe. Okay. I'm trying to like, actually play around crits and wild encounters. Just I'm tired of accidentally killing things with critical hits. And I mean, in this early on, you don't really have to worry that much about damaging Pokemon to be able to catch them. Their catch rates are pretty high, so. Nickname for the female Stanley. Here's what I'm going to do. If I ever can't think of a nickname for a Pokemon, I'm going to anagram their name and try and find something funny. You shall be known as... RT Slay. <laughs> well, I guess let's see who's getting called fucking Bob in the Ravage Path. Oh, I can get up here. Ooh. Alright, who do we got? A Geodude. Well. See what we get. Ooh, what's hard? Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice. I'm fine with that nickname.
All right, we get the glue. Do have to be careful not to kill you. Although are you gonna have fucking. Oh, you're gonna have. Oh no, you don't have a arena trap. Okay. What other ability does he? Well, you have if you don't have a arena trap. Oh my god, that did a lot. Hans Moleman. Hands more, man. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, quite happy to get a match up. That was actually uh, that was very, very good. Not a fan of that. I don't know how much the crit is doing. Yeah, my job would actually be really good for this gem. Nice. Zen headbutt iron defense, iron head and takedown? What the fuck? Really though? We <laughs> of all the cool like rock and ground Pokemon we could get here and we get a fucking Wizmer. Why is Wizmer even here? Uh well. Yo, okay, fucking crap. another Salad hit with another goddamn crap. I'm just gonna like grab all this thing because I don't want it to wait. I don't want it to uproar and just like crack kill my Geodude. I'm gonna have remastered plot after this, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have bad at it. I'm actually, I'm wondering should I blind Nuzlocke the Platinum or the uh, Diamond Apparel remakes when they come out? Since we technically know the games well enough already. And I don't think there's gonna be that much new stuff in it that's gonna like be a problem. Isn't the mine a different area? I oh wait, is the was the gift beldum part of the mine area and not the town? Your okay, your female was, but I'm gonna call you Siren. Your trainer? Yes, you are. Wow, that did nothing. Man, I... 
I don't really have shit for hurting an Aaron, do I? Salad, you've got to stop getting crit. Like, come on, man. This is getting beyond a joke, dude. Like, every fight you're in, you get crit by something. It's literally every fight he's getting hit by a crit. Fan pail. I have three Pokemon weak to ground. <laughs> In fact, I have four Pokemon weak to ground. Jesus Christ. Um, cover. You're faster somehow. Yeah, that's not too bad damage wise. Okay. Is Hidden Power gonna do more? Since you have more defense. Fuck off with these crits! And he flinched me? Are you kidding? Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? Crap flinch. Two times. This motherfucker's crap me three times in this fight. Are you serious? Like, what do I even do? This is some bullshit, man. Does this thing have a ground move? At this level? Has it, it, it literally only has mud slap, so no, I didn't choose Leafeon. I just I took the Moonstone for for Nidoran, and we're just gonna box EV until later when I actually need it for a specific type because we're not gonna use it for this gym anyway, since it's a rock since it's a rock gym. I think I, I think I have to go to need around here on water pulse. The mud slabs are gonna do nothing to me, so. Okay. Fuck that fan pee. Holy shit! I want a real loot. Great. This thing's gonna have counter. Uh, I'll go to Sunwood Gong and just Ember this thing to death because it's gonna have counter and I don't even want to deal with that. Go use counter, you bitch. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> no chance. No chance you're getting me with that shit. I know what you're all about. Faster than me? Just be tied. I shit heart. Okay. That's a shiny Starly. I saw the shine. That's a fucking shiny Starly. I saw the shine. Yo, let's go. Shiny. Already. Before the first gym. What are, what are we calling our shiny? <clears throat> Marble? Alright.
Well, let's see how it goes. First gym fight. Let's see if we get our ship pushed in or not. Setting up any of that bullshit in those pass. Try to paralyze me. I'm going to waste his potions here on those paths, that would be kind of nice actually. That's fine, we outspeed now, and we kill it. Nice! That went pretty well, we got him to waste his potion and uh, it only did 7 damage to us. That was a good start. Geodude coming out next. Okay, uh... I think we'll just... We'll just go to Mirror B. Geodude should go down quite easily with a Water Pulse. The Onyx might try and set up a Sandstorm or a Stealth Rocks here, and I don't think I don't think I have anything that can outspeed it. So I kind of just have to let him do that. What's his attack in those? Rock to build those. Yeah, I think I just have to kind of just yeah, kind of just have to let him do that. Don't really have any way of stopping it. I guess I can Mega Drain in case he attacks and then I can get my HP back. Setting up the Sandstorm. I don't think that's going to save you from the 4 times effective game Mega Drain, to be honest. Nice. Do 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 Larvitar. This freaking Larvitar does have Guts Flame Orb, so it's a little scary. Uh, I kind of just want to hit it as hard as possible to just try and one-shot it. Um, so who's my hardest tower? Your Expert Bell, 29 Special Attack, Water Pulse. Your 36 Medical Seed, you probably actually would... You're probably actually better for this, yeah. Well, here's the thing, Kranidos is probably going to... I don't know who's going to send out next. If I kill him with Sally, that might bait the Kranidos to come in, and it's going to bait the Zen Headbutt. I'm pretty sure he stole rock ground, so that shouldn't be an issue. I guess it doesn't matter because I can just I get I I'm on shift anyway, so I can choose who he's switching on with the uh, thing coming out.
Protect to get the flame orb off. Son of a bitch. This is a little warning, but I'm pretty sure even with the sandstorm up, this should just one shot you and I do I am faster. Nice. Yeah, I mean we're wiping this team out, just this Kranidos is gonna fuck us. I have to hope that Monferno can outspeed and just one shot it with Brick Break. If it doesn't, we're just f fucked. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't, it'll put it to a It'll put it to an amount of HP that Mirror B can maybe come in and just fake out and kill it. Although it does have a Citrus Berry, so... <sighs> it might be... The safer bet here might be to go into Mirror B and let him die so that Monferno can come in and just break break it because the fake out will put it at a low enough hp the brick break will 100 percent kill it that's maybe the safer bet because if i bring in monferno and we don't kill it and it heals with the citrus berry and then one shot says i don't know if i have anything else that can take it out at that point you know and hell if mirror actually survives like one hit from this thing, then we could maybe actually save it. But I think that's the safest play. Is to go to Mirror B and get the fake out damage off. And then go to Sun Wukong after it dies. I don't really have anything else, because Zen Headbutt, Zen Headbutt. <sighs> Bob could... Mm, I could go to Bob. Bob might actually might be able to take a hit from it. I could bulldoze it to slow its speed. But then it's just going to spam Zen Headbutt. I don't have Muddy Water on Kepa. Plus Sandstorm's up, so... A physical move is going to do more damage to him. Than special at this point. I think we have to potentially sack Mirror B. That th I think that's the safest play to make sure we don't lose anybody. Or at least anybody else. Meh. Go for the fake out. It's not a lot of damage, but... Maybe just enough. He is going to be faster, but we might as well just go for a water pulse in case we somehow tank a Zen Headbutt or a Rock Tomb from this thing. Zen Headbutt. He got the flinch! Are you serious? Oh, we actually took that, like, better than I thought, though. He got the flinch. Fuck off. <laughs> hold it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much? That did... How much did that do? Like, 30? It's a 25. Bob can't take... Well, Bob actually might be able to take two. Bob could probably take two, and I could go in and bulldoze it. I could go I could go to Bob, get a bulldoze off to load its speed, and then go to Kipper, and outspeed this thing and finish it. I just have to hope that he doesn't flinch me with fucking Zen Headbutt. Do I have any super potions? Actually? I don't. The Sandstorm, I think the Sandstorm has died down anyway, so I don't, I don't think we have to worry about that. But he has... 
26 defense and it did 25. Bob has like 50% more nearly? In fact, more than 50%, so... The Zen headbutt on Bob would only do like 12 or 13. He'd actually be able to take like potentially three of those. Yeah, I think Bob's the safest play here. He could take like potentially three Zen headbutts. He went for Thunder Punch! I mean, we totally predicted that. Yep. Outplayed. Get fucking outplayed, Rourke. Totally predicted the Thunder Punch. Oh, come on, with a flinch. I did 16. He missed! That's, 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 I think that's completely fair. He flinched me twice. And he killed! Let's go, Bob! Let's go! Let's go! Oh. And it's just a Bonsley. Just a Bonsley left. Kipper, you can deal with a Bonsley. What a beast! Fucking GG. Oh, guess set up your stealth rocks with your last Pokemon Rourke, please. Holy shit, dude. I was so worried, though. God damn. Was that actually max attack? Jesus. I was sweating over nothing. Could have just threw in Bob and dealt with that thing. What's well, Lombardy's defense was 26. And now we got Stealth Rocks as well, which is pretty pog. It's gonna be really helpful for some uh, some big fights. Ah. <sighs> I think we're doing pretty well. Past the first gym, not a single death. We're doing pretty well, I think.